Hello everyone and welcome to another video. Now this is footage from my year old review of an HP 255 laptop. It featured an AM4 5000 processor and 4GB of RAM along with AMD Radeon graphics. For $200 it was okay, but HP actually made a few different versions of this laptop, with the least powerful being a dual core 1GHz option that featured an AMD E1200 CPU and slightly less powerful HD8210 graphics, as opposed to the 8330 GPU in the original, which offered about 25% more performance. These were fairly popular because they were cheap, but from what I found they were sold at the same price as the more capable options and looked exactly the same. The E1200 CPU inside them though, well, is pretty bad. These were fairly popular because they were cheap, but the processor inside them meant that they lacked a little performance wise, and while it may seem pretty coincidental to find one at the dump, it's no real surprise considering how many I've seen for these for sale locally at a stupidly low asking price. This is the dump find HP laptop, or at least this is what it looked like when I first found it. Yes, it was free, but all it needed was a little care, attention and cash thrown its way to turn it into a half respectable system. I had a feeling we may have needed a new keyboard, although I'm no expert. After looking into the matter, the keyboard was sold separately for just £10 on eBay, so that was my first purchase, but I had no battery or charger for it. £14 for the battery and £8 for a generic charger later, and we had everything we needed for testing, but there was still something I had forgotten. A check of the internals. I know the specs because the model number is printed on the bottom but it didn't mean they were all intact. This was a fairly easy process as the silver part was hanging off anyway and I figured that I may as well replace this too because it was flimsy and had a few blemishes. £5 was the price for that and it was cheaper doing it that way than it was buying the silver part and the keyboard together. I also had to find a hard drive because I'm not too surprised the original was missing. But with all the parts gathered, it was time to restore this thing to its former glory. Fast forward a few days, and here we have it. A good as new HP 255 15.6 inch laptop ready to take on all the tasks, except anything too intensive, that you could throw at it. So what exactly is it like to use? Well I started off with a Windows 7 installation, but it ran a little sluggish, upgrading to Windows 10 just to scope out any difference and it seems to be quite slow here too, even navigating the home interface. Just opening the stock programs can take some time, but I can't complain after a total spend of just £57 after the hard drive purchase, roughly $75. Browsing is fair enough too, no speed records will be broken and I didn't need to run a benchmark to show you the power or rather lack thereof that the CPU has but I decided to anyway. This was the Cinebench R15 score. But can it play games? Well, older games will run, put it that way, although newer titles even struggle to run on the better equipped version of this laptop, so I didn't expect much here, although the games I did test ran okay and again, considering the circumstances, I can't complain. GTA San Andreas ran at 800 by 600 with the low settings to achieve 27 frames per second on average, with the game hitting at least 40 in quiet areas, and over in Portal with 1024 by 768 resolution, I saw around 40 frames per second, sometimes shooting above 80 and dropping below 20 every so often. Not great, but not bad for our second piece of hardware found at the dump. Thanks for watching guys, and I hope you've enjoyed today's look at this dump find laptop. Leave a like if you enjoyed the video, dislike it if you didn't, subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already, and hopefully I'll see you all in the next video.